Hi, my name is Jenny Devonshire and welcome to my mobility warm-up. We will be moving in multiple planes, which means different movement patterns. Uh, get the body ready for your workout so that hopefully you can move a little better, feel a little bit better and just get more from your workout. You could also do this as just a standalone mobility, you want to get a bit of movement in your day, that is also going to work for you. So we're going to start off reverse lunges. Reverse lunge, reach back, squeeze this back glute as you open your chest. The reason we squeeze this glute is to get the chest opening rather than from your lower back. So reach, squeeze up the glute, only bringing your arms as far back as you're not kind of flaring your ribs. A little bit of a pull in here, stretching through your chest and your shoulders, back knee towards the floor. If you're on a soft surface, you can even touch your foot, your knee down, keeping your feet hip distance apart. So just starting to, so we're getting a bit of an opening through your hip. On your next one, come all the way back. We're going to keep the knee down, lengthen your tailbone, right arm up or whichever arm is on the back leg, reach over to the side, come back up. Reach and up, you want to untuck the back toes you can. Getting a little bit more into that hip flexor. Open and lift. Good, five more. Reach. Two more. Still squeezing your back leg. And then back up, changing sides. Back knee down, or scooping out your tailbone, reach. So you want to find the stretch at the front of your hip. You got five more of those. Reach and find that nice hip stretch into your psoas. Two more. And then we're going to come back to lunges, but we're going to go forward lunge. Lunge, twist to the front leg. We're loading up this front glute. Knee stays straight, back in. So you can step and then twist, or you can do it all in one. Twist. And return. Twist and return. Again, feet hip distance apart. The twist is from your waist to your thoracic spine, this middle bit where we tend to get a bit stiff. We want that movement. Good. A few more of those. Twist. Good. Two more. And then we're going to come with some lateral lunge. Take it over, reach for the foot. Little balance, hip flexor strengthening. Reach and balance. Also going to bring in a little bit of balance. We tend to, some people don't do enough of it. So good. Working your stabilizing leg, the ankle stability, hip stability. Also getting a nice stretch through your inner thigh. more of these. So you don't have to touch the ankle, it just depends how open your thigh is or your inner thighs or doctors are. Reach, balance, reach, balance. So just pausing for a couple of seconds. So it's all controlled. A few more of those. And then we're going to come into a single leg deadlift to a knee lift to maybe an extension. <laughs> so you're going to hinge, bring your knee to your chest. You want to make it a little bit harder, extend your leg. Hinge, single leg deadlift, hit to level, knee to your chest, extend. So working into that stabilization again. Hips flex the strength. Don't do enough of this. don't have to extend the leg if it's a bit too much. Nice abs pull in. Keeping your neck in line so you're just looking to the floor as you hinge. Probably feeling your glute burning. One more. Knee to chest. And then the other side. So we hinge. This is where we know we're a little bit more wobbly on one side. 
Knee to chest, maybe extend. Try to keep your hips level as you come into that single leg deadlift. Says me as I wobble. <laughs> Wobbling's fine, just working with those, building strength and balance. Half more of those. And then coming into some squats. So feet about shoulder distance, queuing down and up, driving your knees to your toes, screwing your feet into the ground. So we've got that connection here. Nice and low. Try to get as low as you can. Drive your knees up. So we create torque. That's where you screw your feet into the ground. So you've got everything is switched on. We're gonna come into a little hip opener at the top. Squat, do a big circle with the knee. Coming into a squat. Circle with your knee. Nice and low. Open it up. All the way down. Do a big circle. Also strengthening into this glute. Down, circle, down. One more on the other side. And then we're going to do a twist. Keep those squats coming. Squat, hips stay level, twist from the waist, hip bones shining forward. Squat, twist. So we're getting that rotation from your thoracic spine, not just from twisting your hips. I'm trying to think about pulling this elbow back. Find a little bit of activation through your upper back at the same time. More of those. And just do it as a couple of little circles, pulling in your lower ribs. So we don't want this to be coming from here. We want to get the stretch from your shoulders, opening up, and then just bring your arms out. Again, pulling those ribs in, get the stretch when we want the stretch. And relax. Well done. So easy, see? So just a little, little bit of time to get your body ready. And now you can get into that workout that you wanna you wanna do. Or just get back on the sofa, depending on depending where you're at right now. So please, if you like that, like it, comment below, let me know how I found it, and share it to anyone who needs a little bit of pre-workout mobility or just mobility. And hopefully see you back here soon.